Hey guys, welcome to Nomad Highlands. So, I'm gonna go and do a, a how-to here. We're gonna make sure we get through everything that is in here. Including hidden rooms and all that. As you can see, I'm not um, buffed up or anything except for the rest of it. And <clears throat> I did bring some mana potions, but I'm not sure we're gonna use them or have a need for them. Maybe later on. Uh, of course, this is just to show that it can be done. So if you were doing it, I would suggest you buff up completely, you know, bring food and especially things that replenish uh, stamina really fast. Also, pickaxe or explosive arrows or grenades, really good because they are very efficient at taking down um, the spawners. So yeah. Oh, here they come already, so let's just get into it. some attack breakers or swing breakers here which can be a bit troublesome but then we can just you know shift focus back and forth if we got the space for it and i'm actually I just discovered i'm using the wrong weapon let's just go back here and switch that around there we go now there we go down fast so yeah if you have got them already as you can see i'm having i have the uh, veil it's called Veil Rift Axe and the Mandible Crusher. These are excellent in here because they do extra damage against the Hollow. Also, there is a Sinister Crescent Staff that does damage against the Hollow. And there is a Wand. Oh, this is not it. But, no, I mean the bow. Yeah, we have the bow. Which also increases damage against the Hollow. So, all good items to have. Which will increase your success rate. And as I've been doing in Kindle Ways as well, um, tapping urns, because they often contain scrolls like that, or potions. And I, I kind of see Nomad as a warm-up to Kindle Ways in terms of you get a lot of potions and stuff that you won't necessarily need inside Nomad. But they're very useful once you get into uh, Kindle Ways. So, and every time you see an animal, just prepare. No need to be a hero. Uh, hang on a second. There we go. Uh, I don't want to hear my own voice. Come on. There we go. Okay, so you will be seeing me spending time getting these urns simply to stock up on the items that are very helpful in clearing uh, kin waste. Oh, yeah, and Bone Channel is great as well. I love that one. Even as a melee, because, yeah, it goes with the staff, right? So why not have some nice artillery for it? Oh, get that guy away. That's what I fell. Uh, that, that was the place, that was in Kind of Waste, right? Where you get mobs right in the beginning, more or less. Oh yeah, I will though use the... This one, the Ice Protection. No reason not to, to be honest. Just to increase, because everyone gets that anyway, so... As random drops. And if there's something coming through in the background, it's uh, just Cory Kenshin doing his spooky, scary thing. My kids love that guy, so yeah. Nice, with a healing potion. I think we can... Oh. I think we're doing well now with the materials or resources, so... Maybe skip the rest of the urns here. Only go for uh, tombs or chests if you find them. Get these two guys. And especially make sure to loot these. 
I'd uh, been saying that in the Kindle Waste video I made as well. Because they drop, sometimes drop, uh, the vessels, which are excellent boss killers, so... Whoops. That was a funny place. We will take care of you, sir. Down you go. Oh, see, we got already... Oh, we got necromancers. Those are even better. Oh, don't want any stragglers. Stay here. Ooh. There we go. Uh, okay, I'll skip these. Just go for the chests here. And yeah, flask, uh, shroud flask is still immensely useful because we have so much shroud in uh, the kindle wastes. Hello. So a, a few minutes helps a lot. Let's see here, which way was it I decided to go? We go this way first. And here is a nice example of shifting focus. So we kind of zoom around because that keeps you away from their uh, attack breaking attacks. Uh, let's see if I can... Yeah, we have this place here. There's a hidden door. Go in here. And you might think, oh, there's nothing here. But yeah, just like in Kindle Waste, we need to get up here. So we make a double jump. And might tease a little bit. But it is possible. Oh, or just stand here. Huh. I didn't find that spot the last time. So. And here, oh yeah, arrows. Those are always welcome. But let's see what the first chest has. Only a common one, spine chill. Which is a bit disappointing that they put common weapons in. In uh, an end game dungeon or almost end game. Now I did go up here because uh, in Kindle Ways there is a secret place here, uh, but I couldn't find anything here. So yeah, that's why I'm not going to spend too much time going over that. I tried pickaxing and stuff like that. But if anyone has done it, please comment if you did find something and whether it was worth it. So back on the hunt. Lots of these little fellas here again. Oops, don't do that. Don't be like me. Yeah, we can shift focus again and zoom around. Remembering to loot these guys. Well, we've got two more necromancer vessels. Nice. And just take these two. Nothing interesting. But bones. So we go. And yeah, did I get any wisps of light? No, not yet. But those are really... Yo, yeah, we did. Those are really useful because some places you can't really see the... Uh, you, you, there's a risk you miss the hidden doors. If you have, haven't got a wisp on. And I did go up here as well and didn't find anything. But again, if you, anyone did, please share it for the whole community. And we have a little place here. I also searched that. And now I'm actually not sure. Did I find anything here? Was it on the next level? That might have been on the next level, right? So we're gonna drop down. Oh yeah, down by the bats. That's right. And these are easily taken care of with a good one. So, short process. Good. So we have this little passage here, and 
again, I couldn't find anything. Uh, it, it's almost like it's just decoration. Um, because, yeah, there's another reason I'm saying that. And I'll show you over here. In this little area here. So here are a few items. Just grab. Chest. Just arrows this time, but a bit someone else also but see open. But there's no door, right? But there is a door. I don't know, I think it's unintentional that they put this here. Because if once you punch through, you kind of outside the build. But you can walk around, it's very weird. So yeah, and because it's you know, lodged inside the wall. I'm figuring it, it must be unintentional. So you can try, pick that up, and then I can try and close the door again. Where is it? Oh, I can't. But let's go out here, and then you can see. So now we're out here, and there's really nothing to do. So I'm I'm figuring that's a mistake. But on the other side, you can actually see the uh, the box of that hallway that was caved in. It's here. And you can kind of see it's, it doesn't really go anywhere. Unless it connects to something in there. But I don't think it does, to be honest. You see, there's kind of little... I think it's just for decoration. So I won't be digging through that today. Maybe... Maybe I'll come here on the cheat account and bomb the crab out of it and see where it goes. But uh, for now, we're just going to do this normally. Oh, and it can be a bit of a tease getting back in here. But I know it can be done because obviously I did it before. Ah, oh, please don't do this. There we go. Ah, uh, no, this wasn't the place where the secret door was it? No, that's another place. Yep, not here. Good, moving on. Um, so we can kind of get ready here, and actually I want to get over on the other side, if I can get back up. Because I want to show you, if you go down here, and then drop here, there's a chest down there. So if you drop down, and this chest is actually the recipe for ectoplasm. So if you drop down and then initiate flight in the right moment, you can basically land on top of it like that oh of course we got a little bit of bats here going on diet so yeah that's how you get the ectoplasm um and then actually we're gonna drop down here are we no we might take that one first actually so this is the first barrier room and as you can see, we are needing to find five. The first one, well, I just will grab. Whoop, don't do that. Ah, it's so annoying he does that. Or she does. I'll just go over here, grab the first one. And then, if we go across here, and immediately. Oh, it's one of those electrocuting ones. So you can even either check the chance and do it like this. And kind of drop down. Can you see this bridge down here? We want to drop down. And get the second one. Like that. Now, we have two over there and they can be gotten in one swift move. And then the last one, as I recall, is down here in the middle. But there's also a few chests, and I think there's also a hidden room here, if, if I don't remember wrong. Let's go for the chest first, right? Ah, I forgot lockpicks, but now you know it's here. It's silver, so it can be a good item. Uh, let's see what was over here. Oh yeah, we got the um, got a few chests, oh, not chest urns. Which could be useful because they could have potions in them. 
But we can actually just do like this instead. Well, it wasn't urns, was it? It was actually tombs or chests. Again, put the wisp of light on if you find it. So you can spot any doors, because there are hidden doors here and there. What was this? There was nothing on this guy. Nope. Uh, we're just gonna grab this chest. Mm hmm. A little bat. Okay. Uh, let's go the other way, actually. And grab the middle one. What's it? These have nasty hits, but you know these guys, so... and find a caster here. Nope, no vessels. Okay. Uh, there should be some, yeah, tombs here. Nothing interesting. No hidden doors. Oh, mana potion. Those are useful when you're going to drop summoning vessels, at least as melee, because you're going to run out of uh, mana really fast. So, it's nice to be able to fill it up in a moment, or in a second. Get up here. Gives up. Stupid bad. Ah. There we go. We're up to up here. So you can't do this in one go. It's not always I manage to. Ah. And if you fail like that, oh, that was not good, was it? Uh, put all this on. Whoops. Then we just need to go back, to be honest. Unless we can get over here safely. And then maybe... If these guys would leave us alone... More? Okay, good. So, we can hopefully land on top here, like that, and then just go for the second one. Good, area's open, but we want to go down here in the corner now. And we want to dig. To reveal this hidden door. And you might want to have to, you know, just dig a little bit to get out again. I got stuck the last time off here. Okay. Open this. Oh, two flasks. Not bad. And nowhere to go up like we did previously, so... And no extra hidden doors here. Nope. So now we can go for a barrier. And we're gonna get to the next spawn point. Ta-da! And we get a new anvil here. Just in time. 
And just want to see anything useful. Prayer of the Flame is always good. And I actually think I'm going to use, even though I said no buffs, because since everyone can get the play of the frame since it drops, I will use it on the next boss. So, going through. Okay, let's find the close caskets here. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, why not? Good. Okay, here. And these guys are gonna come in a moment. We can actually maybe just... Oh, we can't actually from this distance. Rubbish. Make a lot of mess here. Two-handers can be useful, but only if double jump. Otherwise, they're gonna break your screen. Last and dark. No vessels. Okay, let's go down here. And this one, it distinguishes itself because it's caved in, but it's not very big cave in, which is different from the other places. So I decided to see what was behind, and actually, this is another hidden room. You just gotta keep going. And here we go. One more hidden room. Mm. Open this. Ah, a common weapon. That's rude. Using Wisp of Light. There's a few urns here you might as well grab. And nothing else. So, out again. Did we miss anything here? Any chest? No. Uh, we could actually just... I can't remember. I think it was here. Was it in another place? There was a hidden tomb chest under this place here where sometimes there is a platform with a chest on. It might not have been here. Probably was one of the others. Yeah, doesn't seem like it. Moon on. Okay. Going through here. And just see are there any of these that are open or closed? So they're not there isn't. And you can just drop down basically. It's pretty safe. Okay, spider room. Terrible room, I hate spiders, but there is a chest in here in one of the rooms. You might just clean it so you don't accidentally pull a whole lot of these. All the boots. Sure, why not? Let's take those. I think I can have them already. Oh, stop that. Mana potion. Do like. And over here. Simply because if if I die and all that and we have to come back, I don't wanna be having to worry about spiders again. So I think that cleans this room. There we go. Moving up. Okay. 
good. Oh. And another hidden door here. Oh, like that. Oops. Got the second steel sword. Uh, 20 common, unfortunately. Good. So it doesn't really matter which side you choose here because they end up the same place. So let's just take this side. And you know this this is easy, right? So just walk through and then we can move on. And then we have a chest here. Gonna go to that. Well, that's a big chest for a small guy. <laughs> but we do have a hidden door. Which leads down here. And you know what? This is where you find the throne. Uh, I can't even show you now because A, I don't have the luck pick uh, with me. And two, I already have it. But if you open chest here and chest here, and there's the throne. You can get it. So. And then once you've gotten it, we're already in a secret room, right? So why would there be more secret rooms? But there are. So the throne is not the only prize in this room. We have to destroy this. And get in here. Because in here, there's a gold chest. In this case, snake spine one, 20 rare. Yeah, not too amazing. Nice little room here. Bit spooky. But yeah, that uh, that's where you find the room. So let's get back out. Oh, let me just say I didn't check the no no secret doors. Now it's we have taken them all down here. So this was here in this end hall. Okay. And since, yeah, I said that this is just back up where we came from, so we're not gonna go that way, we're gonna go here. And then I thought, okay, well, yeah, okay, let's just kill these guys. Because I thought the closed door was more interesting. So yeah, we we can take this way first. Can take turns. Nothing exciting, no. Mana potion, all good. Ah, twigs. Experience scroll, also kind of silly. Oh, I guess not, to be fair. Uh, it's just because, yeah. So I thought maybe it would be the same here, but I did dig in a long way here and I didn't get through. Um, so yeah, unless someone else of you has been in here and found something, please put that in the comments. Uh, because I thought it was weird to have this kind of dead end here without anything. Uh, but I couldn't find anything here. So yeah. So we're just gonna move on. Ah, oh, whispered light. Huh? We'll just take the chests here. Ah, oh, light burst. That's something we can always throw out. But bone channel, I love it.
Okay, better save up some stamina again here. Pretty easy, these. So there is a hidden door here. I can't remember precisely where, so I'm just gonna zoom them. Oh, yeah, there, there is. Another chest. Silver bow or silver shop bow. More potions. And as far as I remember, that is the only hidden room here, so I'm not gonna go around finding others. Just wanna grab the chests here. Okay. And again, it doesn't matter if you choose left or right here. Uh, just gonna use this. Swing over. And what do we have here? We have... Ah, get up there. A nice gold chest. And we got the Bone Scourge Mace. Level 20 epic. So... Where do you go? Oh, never mind. Good, and then you... I know I missed it the first time I was here. And the only reason I found it was because I came back for something. I can't remember what, but actually I noticed that flag over there. So what you want to do is you want to position yourself on either the right or left side. And then you're going to glide. Like that. And here you have... Uh, I think it's a chandelier, isn't it? At least it's a recipe for another decoration. So yeah, that's where you find this. And yeah, that's it for this part. Nothing hidden. Whoops, that was a tough landing. Let's just uh, get ourselves back up. So now we can go back. Did I forget this one? No. Mm. And now we can move. Let's see. Where did we come? We come came from that way, right? We're gonna go down this way. Oh, out of stamina. Whoops. So I'm going to switch to pickaxe and then I'm going to glide down and attack that spawn point immediately. One, two, and do the same for that one. If I if they let me. Maybe not this time. <laughs> that was bad. Just going to panic heal here. Then fight these guys normally. Zoom around, ship focus. Come on. Help yourself. They are so fierce, these guys. Good. Three hits this time. Good. Moving on, moving on. Yay, time to prepare. Actually, just in time. And not gonna spend too much time here. I think I'm pretty loaded with potions and all that, so... But yeah, I would advise if you don't have that much, then do clean these. And get the potions you can.
Oh yes, this is the most annoying part of Nomad. Uh, yeah, basically it's about getting a lot of runes, and you might as well start one place, but I like to start here so we don't get too many spawns going. If it would just let me. And then get this one as well. Come on. Ah, flip back. Yeah, there we go. And then we need to take this out. Whoops. And there is a grappling point above us to get the first rule. And basically just uh, just start with, you know, one or the other, doesn't matter. I like to go all the way around and get all the, the lower ones and then work my way up. And careful, this is the shroud, so you will die if you stand in it too long. And mind your stamina, I've made some bad mistakes here. Uh, let's just fight these. got a caster here. I actually want to kill that guy because they have the vessels. If we're lucky. Yep, two more. We have 12 now. That's great. That's going to help a lot. Okay. Uh, let's go here. Find the grappling point. And this one you actually have to pick your way through, unfortunately. Yeah, and you see, we might have to break it off and just finish the combat. But they're not too hard to kill. Inside that room, there is a spawn point. So you better get in there and finish that. There we go. Then we can move up. And grab another room. Good. Then we actually want to... Oh, yeah, we can stand here. That's good. There is a boss in here. I don't know if you can hear the music, but there's a big guy. He's right there, Cyclops, so... Don't want to fight him yet. Good. And this one over here... Oops, careful now. And we want to... Rattle up here. And careful down there. There's, uh, you know... Deadly Shroud. Over there, there's a chest. So we can use all these as platforms, just gotta land not so hard. <laughs> oh, we are the bandages. Okay, so just choose whatever you feel comfortable with jumping to. I think I can make this one. Whoa, only just ah, stop dying. Okay. Silver shot bow coming. That's too bad. Could have been better. And just get over here. Okay. Let's 
So eventually when we do pull the bus, I like to put him back here because it seems like there's more space to move on. But that will become evident uh, when we get to that point. Uh, right now I just want to get up in the portal. Right here. Grab this. And we got our next round. So yeah, choose whatever direction you want. We're gonna go all the way around again. So I start this way. We see the final one is over there. We're gonna go past these. Pretty easy. Just jump. And stop there. And then we're gonna grab each of these portals. Because that takes us up to the next level. And then we can jump down and get the rune. And it, yeah. It's, you know, jump and glide. But no, there are skeletons over there. We're going to move straight on afterwards. And these are uh, swing breakers, so... Yeah, we managed to get away. Just going to go over here because that will disengage some of them. And we can get some rune stuff. Uh, earn stuff, not rune stuff. There we go. See one guy... Stay behind. Annoying. Gonna go to the next one. Oh, and this is what I... Yeah. Now you got the perfect sample of what not to do. Damn stamina, right? Okay, but that's not too hard. It's just over there, so... Uh, let's heal up. Okay. Grab the stuff. And hopefully we have enough. Oh! Yep. <laughs> bye bye. No need to fight these guys. So, we got this one. Oh, that was just the right height, fortunately. I have to look for secret passages in these pillars because I haven't really done that. But they would be obvious with a button, right? So I don't think there are any. Here you can just, you don't have to go all the way around. You can jump from the edge and land on the edge. So if you have double jump, like so. Spiders, you don't have to fight them. You can just go across, continue to the. Teleporter. And do the same thing again. And they can't get you because they're on the other platform, so just don't miss. Oh, good. <laughs> so we go this way. Now let me just show you, we're not gonna take them yet. This is these are the last two. You can get them in one go, but it's Pretty hard, I haven't been able to yet. Uh, so you kind of, you know, imagine you glide out to it and then you kill your glide and then you should fall down on both. It's a bit tricky. So yeah, maybe that's a challenge for you to do. We're gonna go this way, follow the fireballs. And I can't remember, is it on this side? No, it's further away. So we have it here, but we need to go over there. Oh, bats. Ah, did he give up? I think he did. Port up. And here we are. Okay, if we want to make sure that you've got them all, you can look here and see, okay, there's two left. And we know there's two there, so that must be right. Now we're going to go over here. 
And then we're going to try and see what we can do. At least get one of them. Uh, aim up. That's my first time getting both in a go. Woohoo! And here we have the boss, and he's already angry. Angry. The problem is he has minions, and I really want to get rid of those first, so we don't have to worry about those guys. Ah, okay. So let's just fly back here. They will come faster than him. Uh, or did we pull it? Yeah, we have. We did pull one skeleton. Because this fight, uh, at least for my part, I don't like the whole hug the leg thing. I think it's far nicer to just do it like this. Throw three or four of these guys. And then stay out of his way. And then at range, use the bow. When he gets close, maybe... Whoa, that was lucky. Oh, that was unlucky. You can... You know, clear the swings. And this is where I wanted to use the flame scroll, actually. Because I think it might buff the uh, skulls. Yeah, we're gonna save six for later. Hmm. See, they're doing quite a good job of damaging him. reason you have to cut miss because he's a little bit faster than the skulls so you have to get him back towards them otherwise they're just gonna you know, be wasted oh that was bad once you get hit by one of those you actually almost always get hit by three Of course, his eye is his weak spot, so... And this bow is actually... Um, it does extra damage to hollow, so... It's quite good. I got that on the last boss of Kindled Wastes. Oh, lucky. go and yeah I forgot to say you don't have to kill this guy once you have the barrier open you can just move on so this is just like a bonus kill but we get the big uh, bones and we get the luminous one and the head so yeah but that's it for this room and I did look a little bit around here for hidden uh, rooms and I didn't really find any so please write if you did find any here as well okay Moving on. It would be interesting. There might be obvious if there was something up there, right? So, but I haven't checked. Uh, that was simply. I was getting tired of pickaxing. <laughs> Let's just put it like that. <laughs> okay, wisp on. Prepare. And because we spent a lot of things, or not a lot, we spent a little bit of things. Might just check here. There's a mana potion. And we actually didn't have a need for that, did we, in the encounter? But I would say if you're gonna throw more than, you know, like 10 skulls, you're probably gonna need mana as a melee or mana potion. Good, next room. Wasting stamina. Oh, let's just do the chests and let's stop running actually. Why 
Frame of Flame. Prayer of the Flame is still running. I'm just gonna wait a few seconds here because yeah, like I said, I'm not I'm doing this unbuffed. So in case you didn't have access to food or drinks or anything like that. Just to show it can be done. Okay, we're full. Let's go crush these guys. And here you can make use good use of focus shifts. So you stay out of their debilitating attacks. This was actually another place I found a bit curious because I couldn't find anything here. Um, so yeah, if you can or did, please share it. Because this it's weird that they have these sort of dead ends again without anything. Um, so yeah, we didn't have anything else above, right? No, it's, it's clean or uneventful or whatever you want to call it. And let's see, did I find anything up here? Uh, I think we have to go check because, frankly, I can't remember now if I did. But there was just so much here, so... Oops, stamina again. Oh no, yeah, this is where I got confused, because if you go like this, and you can sometimes, you know, clip the wall and look behind it. But, and I thought, oh, there's something behind here, but it was just... Uh, part of the build, so yeah. So nothing here, but do share if you did find anything that I missed. We're gonna go on. This is quite a long dungeon to be fair. I think it's almost longer than Kindle Wastes. Oh, I did want to take that because I don't like Acid Breath anymore since they nerfed it. That one. Let's go here. Okay, time to Tarzan. Just want to get the stamina up again. And here we are, two urns. In case you just joined, the uh, the reason I'm spending so much time on urns is because they're quite useful, the items inside, for Kindle Wastes. Which becomes a lot harder. So, okay. Across here. And here you're gonna get busy. It's fun, it's just, you know, weaklings, so just zoom around best you can, because they are all swing breakers, these guys. Little doggy, come here. There we go. Did, did the other one run off? Oh, oh well. Let's get up here. Oh, hiding. Whoa, three of those. Let's put the wisp back on. So nothing in this room. 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 And nothing here. Good. We are swinging it on. Oh, that was a weird high swing. <laughs> there will come another here, I think. No, he's not coming. Okay. 
So we're not gonna go this way. We're gonna actually gonna go this way. Get over there. Handle these guys. Oh, and yeah. Another situation like before. Just to clean this. They are being very... Oh, there was some arrows at least. Good. So we're gonna swing from this side. Oh, it's up there. Full stamina. Swing. Swing. Just charge up again. Whoops. Oh, that was lucky. We got the Veil Rift, that's epic. So, yeah. No hidden doors. No hidden anything. So we basically just gotta go back. But, stamina. Let me go back to where we came from. I basically just... Oh, I did it again. <laughs> ah, too eager. Let's see. We always face the wrong direction for some reason. It's this way, right? Just have a look. Oh, we spawned... Nope. It was the other way. And while we run, we might as well heal. It's not too far back. And I'm pretty sure we'll get to a new spawn point very soon. Let's see. Already here. went wrong again <laughs> only just enough that was scary swing <laughs> cross here grabbing some urns Oh, I lost my wisp. Let's put him back on. Nothing? Oh, we got some arrows. Good. And this little final leg here. These closed. This one is. We got some more vessels. Oh, family urns. Party time. Again, zoom around here to avoid the, um, the hits. Let's 
especially getting rid of these caster types because we don't want those those magics and the green skulls so That leaves us in peace to deal with this guy. Oh. Good. Loot casters. Got another vessel. And let's just head down here first. Oh, yeah, okay. We did get some bone channels, which are good. Again, another place that's caved in. Uh, again, I didn't find anything. So, unless someone else did, please share. Because, you know, it's weird that it takes up so much space just for decoration. We are gonna go down here. And repair. All is well. So, this is the boss encounter. And just since they're so close by, just want to check out. Is there anything? And this one, this one I'm going to cheese. And I'm going to show how to cheese it, unless you found out yourself already. So, you get up to this vantage point, and then you just choose either side. The encounter is basically the same. Over here it's with fireballs, over here it's with spikes. And you can see we need to kill two to move past the barrier. I'm just gonna go over here. Please get over the spikes. And we did. I don't want to push the button now. I want to do something else. I want to stand here and I want to aggravate these guys. Get them nice and bundled here. And this is weak, yeah, but it works, because otherwise, this fight is gonna be annoying. We're just taking off the edge. Although this one, this uh, this side of the battle, because the, they wander out into the spice and get impaled, all of them. So, yeah. But having to kite the boss around at the same time is quite annoying. I don't have to kill all the, the casters usually stay back so you can't hit them. We can always get them when we do open the doors. Oh, come on guys. Yep. Oops, I wanna dump, jump, damage you guys. Like that. Oh, out of stamina. There we go, that's fine. Then we take the rest once we uh, open the door. Yeah. Next uh, fence is over here. <clears throat> Same deal. Come on guys, get close. Get close. The skeletons here are probably the easiest to kill, so I don't worry too much about those if if we can't get them all. 
That's fine. Let's do it next, the final one. And then we open the doors and fight both the remains and the boss. Uh, but you have to, once you open, go to this place first and pickaxe this spawn point. So you don't have extra mobs coming at you. Oops. These hollow damage weapons are so good. Okay, I guess that's fine. I'll just spawn some new ones. So now we just recharge the stamina a little bit. Since it's a boss fight, I'm allowing myself to pick this. And let's get the stamina all the way up, right? Because we gotta go over there, first thing. Pickaxe. Didn't I push the button? That's weird. I see they die. <laughs> they die all by themselves. Yeah, no chest. Whoops. Wrong hot bar. Okay. Oh, there they came. That opened, and that, yeah, let's get over here. There it goes. And these will just be caught. And there's the boss. Same Cyclops as before. Oops. Ah. But I really want the uh, minions to go first before we take him. Okay. Same thing as the other times. And this time we just kite him back and forth here. So, time to throw summoning vessels. Let's save a few for the next boss, actually. Oops, that was messy. And the reason this bow is doing so much damage is because it's the silver shot bow which has damage against the hollow, so it's perfect for this. What did we get this time? Snake spine, that's epic. Okay. So pretty much the same thing on the other side. Um Yeah, we just have to move back to the vantage point. Oops, let let's forget this. Because I can't remember if there was anything in here. No. I guess it's kind of about that he took the stuff out of the chest, so there's nothing in the chest. Um, yep. Yeah. Go back down here. Oh. So that was this side. We're going to take the uh, fireball side now. Hello guys, come closer. Oh, 
Ah, the stamina thing again, right? Maybe we could just use this one. That's fine enough damage. Well. Again, these will also run into the fireballs and die from it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. That's fine. Next group. Oops, that was close. Here we have another spawn point. And this guy would really it would really be nice to get him down. goes. That's fine. Stop running, wasting my stamina. So you can see we have two spawn points this time and of course they are again priority. Once we open the doors. Boss door is over there. Button is here. Okay. And maybe we should actually kite them a little bit so we have, can get them away from the um, spawn point. Oh, that's annoying. I was too far away. Oh my god. There we go. Ah, no passes, but we got the boss coming already. Oh, move away. Just want to see how many we got left of the minions and take care of those, actually. See, they're dying from it, but not fast enough. And this can actually become a problem, or at least a bit more troublesome. Because as we fight them, he closes in, and then he's gonna stab us. Whoa! Or slam us? Good. I think that was the last minions, wasn't it? Oh, we have one here. Ah. Oh, that's a caster. We really need him because he might have vessels. Ouch. And that he did. We have four now, that's not a lot, but it's better than nothing. So, let's just ready those up. Ouch. Eye shots are delicious. Oh, I better have some healing potions in the bag. That's close. Put those down here. 
I think we are without vessels. Yeah, we have one left. Ouch. That almost went wrong. There we go, boss down. Phew! Oh, that's an annoying place to die. We got the forest longbow as rare. I'll just show it to you. There we go. 20, 30 power. Good. Um, let's just have a look inside his room as well, just to make sure we got everything. And we don't use a wisp for that. Empty chest. So yeah. Let's find the vantage point again. Oh we made it. Final chest. Bone Scourge Mace, level 20, legendary. Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll take that for Savage. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it, actually. So, that's how you deal with No Man Highlands. A bit long instance, uh, the dungeon, but yeah, we made it through. If you choose to teleport now, uh, it will reset. So, yeah. I mean, if you want to go back and clean up some stuff you didn't finish, don't use the teleporter. Go as far back as you can this way. Um, at least that's what happened to me a few times. Uh, quite aggravating to experience that. <laughs> so, but yeah, and if you missed all the hidden rooms, uh, run back in the video and see them. I can't remember the exact timestamps, but I'm going to upload a recorded version as well, where I will chapter the whole thing. So yeah, but until the next video... Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have fun and uh, have a lovely Easter. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.